A tropical sun beat down on Perth. This lovely city, only a few miles up the estuary of the Swan River, can do with a breeze from the Indian Ocean when the mercury is up in the 90s. But on the eve of the games, nobody minded the heat, for all roads led to this beautiful capital of Western Australia. What a magnet these games have become. Wellington Street seemed to forget business for the time being. Perth was host to the athletes of all the Commonwealth, and all visitors knew as soon as they arrived that the city had completely risen to the occasion. Runners of Adelaide Harriers Club concluded the 1,700-mile relay run to bring the goodwill messages of the Lord Mayors of their own city and Melbourne to the Lord Mayor of Perth. Understandably, they looked a bit weary as the club captain handed over the message. The Games Village, a few miles outside the city, is housing nearly 900 competitors here from all parts of the Commonwealth. Don Oliver, weightlifter from New Zealand, Sinclair of North Borneo, and a host of other competitors looked like getting riders cramped. What a thrill for young Perth to have the signature of a gold medal winner. Edwin Roberts, Trinidad and Tobago. Mike Lindsay, Scotland. Some members of the Welsh contingent showed no signs of nerves during the few days before the games began. The only thing to guard against, so they'd been warned, was the sun. And after being thoroughly well-oiled, in the best sense of the term, was sprinter David Jones. On the famous beach, where Perth's half-million people can generally rely on getting cool, Derek Gibbonson and company followed the local example. couldn't be danger in this calm water, nor anything very unusual. Hence the surprise on the emergence of a lovely mermaid. How disappointing that on closer inspection, it turned out to be Mike Fleet. Anyway, it was all in the interest of keeping fit and happy. Fifty thousand people filled to capacity the superb Perry Lake Stadium five miles from the city centre and built at a cost of a million pounds. The Prime Minister of Australia, Mr Robert Menzies, was welcomed by Sir Arthur Porritt, Chairman of the Games Federation. The stage was now set for the arrival of the Duke of Edinburgh. In his open car, he made a circuit of the stadium. Just before the official opening words, Prince Philip inspected the Guard of Honour. A message from the Queen, and then, spot on, came the fly pass. Wales, as the host country of the last Commonwealth Games, had the honour of leading the march past of the athletes. The Canadians. The Scottish contingent. They came from 35 countries from all parts of the Commonwealth. The smartness of the Ghanaians won praise all round. English athletes, men and women, were determined to bring home some of those coveted gold medals. In many ways, the most powerful teams are the Australians themselves. The soil down under nourishes first-rate athletes and games players out of all proportion to the country's comparatively small population. Now, with all the teams lined up, came the moment for the ceremonial entry of the flag of the Games. Then the release of the 2,000 pigeons following the ritual of these Commonwealth meetings.
At the nearby aquatic centre at Beatty Park, some of the world's best swimmers were getting into top form. Louise Campbell of Scotland has a perfect style. Practising too, where stars of the diving board, Australians especially. From Sydney came Patsy Plowman. Through the observation glass, Pathé cameras filmed just what happens underwater. Graham Dubal, national tower and springboard champion, was the 1960 Olympic semi-finals. Diana Robinson, a typist, is the Victorian tower champion. Rain MacArthur is only 16 and has great promise. England's own Brian Phelps, showing the perfection which was soon to earn him a gold medal. It was 93 in the shade, but that's nothing unusual for Perth. Where could there be a better place to hold the seventh Commonwealth Games? Make a date to see Pathé's next report. It will include many of the thrills of the track and the water, and it will be shown at this theatre. For a short while, feast your eyes once more on this paradise which is Perth. Now, if you've taken your sport seriously, you too might have competed there.